there are many people who say they love the teachings, they like the teachings of Islam, Sheikh. And uh, if you ask them why they haven't become Muslims, they have no answer. Um, but they've heard, they've heard about the, the teachings of Islam and they're just sort of waiting for a sign. Is there any advice that you would give to those people if they're in the room? Well, I would say that um, one needs to answer the question, why not? You know, one needs to address and to find out what is the reason why one is hesitating. I mean, usually it comes down to issues of family, what are people going to say, what are my friends going to say. That's the usual, you know, factor which will hold certain people back. And we know that happened even in the time of the Prophet, may God's peace and blessing be upon him, where his own uncle, Abu Talib, didn't accept Islam for that same fear. So it means that it is, and it's something I've heard many, many times in many, many places. But for those of you in the audience who might have that uh, thought or have that uh, obstacle, then you have to reflect on the fact that we don't know when our time is going to come. We don't know when uh, we're going to die. If we have an awareness of the truth, then we need to commit ourselves to the truth, take it on, and know that God ultimately will provide, will protect, and will help us through the rest of our life. There are people uh, all through the centuries from the earliest of times who have made this choice and they have been successful in their lives. They've gone through difficulties, they have suffered, etc. But all of this is for the good. If one is sincere, it will serve to make one a stronger believer. And ultimately, when we stand before God on the day of judgment, he's not going to ask us about our family, our friends, our neighbors, etc. He's going to ask us about ourselves why we didn't make the choice when we could.